Hey guys, this is Mike and Braden with Off-Road Action on YouTube and just doing a quick review on the Trail Wagon TW400. Uh, I was saying in the last video I came across this by a little bit of horse trading. Um, traded an old vehicle I had for, for this. Uh, I, I gotta say we got we had a lot of fun with this. I think we would come out good on this trade. Um, it's two wheel drive, uh, but I, honestly, I, I don't I don't know that it wouldn't go almost as good as a four wheel drive. I, it goes great. It does have the uh, rear two wheel differential lock. Uh, the levers inside. We'll show you that in just a minute. Um, look over. It's a little muddy right now. We've been kind of riding up in the mountain above the house. Um, splashed a little bit on it, um, but uh, and they kind of wiped the hood off a little bit. So we got it really muddy the other night working on it. Uh, we, we put these two LED accessory lights on it. The reason we did that because one downside are those factory lights right there. They shine a little bit and light up the road let me take that back it lights up the sides of the road in front of you you can't see directly in front of you but you can see the sides of the road a little bit so i've looked at it you can adjust them very very little but not enough to help so um that's, that's one downside i found this on other videos as well um, that is one downside uh the upside is the price like you pick these up new for around five thousand maybe even less if you catch it on sale um, that's a heck of a price for the UTV that it is uh, it's a great UTV easy to drive you just got forward and reverse so we've got the shifter knob right here forward and reverse you can see that and right next to it is the two wheel differential lock I was telling you about um, it, it's you just shift it uh, give it gas and go. You don't have to change gears or anything like that. Um, a nice big seat. It's got the uh, bench type seat. It does not have bucket seats. Uh, this is kind of weird. It's got one big seat belt. So it doesn't have a seat belt for each person. Just one big belt that goes across it. I thought that was kind of weird. But anyway, there it is. Um, <laughs> easy to drive my, my 13 year old drives it he's uh he loves driving it it's easy for him to drive um it's got a five gallon gas tank which when we traded and got it i think we run it almost two weeks on uh, a little less than half a tank before it finally started to to get empty it's got this uh, plastic bed here that is a dump bed Here's the handle for it. There. It's right up. Dumps whatever out of it. Easy to work with. Uh, it's got it's rated at 400 pounds that it can haul in that dump bed. Uh, it's got a 390cc Honda engine, uh, which is a lot of power. Uh, you say, guys, only a 390. It's such a heck of a lot of power if you get in this thing and drive it. Not sure that could wait. I have to look up what what the weight of this thing is, but it hauls it around. And me, I'm you know, 225, um, to 220, and Braden's about 100 and 118, 18 pounds. Uh, pulls us up the hill here, fairly steep hill, with no problem. So, and I think top speed on this rated about 22 miles per hour. But uh, it's got the top on it, no doors. Just kind of jump in and go. Um, and here's the light switches. I like that the light switch, you can turn it on and leave it on. And the headlights stay on when you uh, have it on, and they turn off when you turn the switch off. Uh, there's a uh, extra red button there. That, <coughs> excuse me. That's the flip switch for the fog lights that we put on the LED lights. 
I, I started to wire that in with the uh, the other switch so they would all turn off with the switch. It would be easy to do, but I got to thinking about it. I thought I might want to, you know, on at any time. So I went ahead and wired them up straight. So I'm going to start it up here. It starts really nicely. Stay operating. Red lights are on. There's the fog lights. And the guy that had it for us put on these flashing LED lights, which I do like. Uh, if you ever have it out for a short distance on the road, I think the state of Virginia, you're allowed to do that uh, and have that on the road for so many feet, you know, if you're using it for farm use, which we do. Um, so it makes it really nice and everybody can see it uh, if you're out on the road. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I can't think of much else uh, to add to that, but the, this is a really nice UTV. Uh, if I'd have bought this new, I would not have regretted paying uh, I think the $5,000 price tag, that would be well worth it. So anyway, if you get a chance to pick one of these up, I, I'd probably change names by now. I think this, uh, what, what year did we look up this was? 2017, Wayne Master. Yeah, I think it was 2012, wasn't it? Something like that. The manual, manual said 2012 or something. Yeah, but this is a newer one, 2017. Okay, <clears> so 2017, but... Uh, it may yeah. be a different name now, but you know, whatever uh, Trail Master, I think it went by for a little while. Yeah, or so, Landmaster. Or Landmaster, uh, one of those. So anyway, great UTV. Uh, I think some of these had the, was it a uh, Kubota? No. Uh, what was my lawnmower engine? Uh, Shucks, there's another brand engine that these come with too, which was a, a Kohler, Stratton. Kohler. Yeah. Kohler engine, um, but I'm glad we got the Honda. The Honda is a great engine. So, anyway, uh, that's it. I'll let you go, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.